So it's been a while since I've done a Fire Emblem stream that was late at night, which means if I can transition to the right layout here, we have a doggy cam. So it's been a while since we had a doggy cam. Also, I load up the game ahead of time this time. Now, if I... Yes, this controller. Um, also, if I turn off these cameras for a hot second, so on the calendar, I know that there are three battles. Uh, what is my motivation for all my students? Because there's only one lesson left this month, so I might do one more like exploration to max out their motivation and then just do like all three paralogues during the next next thing more bob and then we can see all like the support conversations as well if we explore that's what that also gives me the chance to do so yeah maybe i'll maybe i'll go ahead and do that it's not the worst idea so we already explored once on this on this month cycle um jeez i'm getting confused with so many other games i'm pressing y to pull up the map like and freaking uh, Xenoblade. I'm pressing hey freaking ZL to pull up the map and who knows what game. This game has had a per first person setting now that I'm holding ZL for like the first time in the monastery. I'm over 200 parts in and I'm just now finding this out purely by accident. Can I do it while I'm moving? Apparently not. Okay, I mean... <laughs> I guess I will remember to go to the amiibo gazebo this time. I probably won't go to the scrap heap in abyss. Like, I don't want to go all the way there just to... Dang it. Oh, yeah, we were going to... Wait, there's Ramire Village, and then this one is the... What is this month again? This is the one where we go to, like, the cathedral thing against, like, some thieves or something. I... I don't remember. And Gerald comes along and stuff. And then the one after that is where we get, like powered up sword and then <laughs> it's been a little while um anyway i stayed up way too late streaming breath of the wild last night and having like the stupidest little adventure to like the some one obscure tower so i kind of couldn't get up early like i originally planned to for the Ooh, i'll take the advance deal for the fire emblem friday typical eu friendly times that i go for so I was like, hey, maybe I'll just do it later. Now here we are much later, which might actually be a good breath of fresh air considering we haven't done a Fire Emblem stream late at night in quite a while. Meaning there hasn't been a doggy cam for this series in quite a while. Whenever I have series on games, I, I definitely like to have a mix of doggy cam and non doggy cam parts. Because I know it's something that something that people have definitely told me that they like having having around getting a camera on the back couch at the at the really sleepy tired doggy. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, I know what I was gonna check before I start exploring was everybody's actual motivation. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of motivation to build up. Yeah. Is certainly the case. So let's go into the dining hall and just feed all my students that they actually want to, you know, show up to class. <laughs> Might be a good idea. Boop. Sure, those two can get some food. Always need their motivation to be nice and high. Whenever That's what I need. Oh, they had unique dialogue. I would have let it play out if I realized they had unique dialogue. Um, boop, boop. Oh yeah, I recruit Shamir and Cyril so that I could get some support with Claude and them. I remember. And speaking of support, we can also see the support conversations with Claude and the two that he can support with right now. Um, I could just go give Happy like a feather or something. Is what I could do. Okay, so who else is missing it? Um, completely only Leone. So, I mean, I could just not train Leone during the next lesson. Is what I could always do. Let's see. Boopity bop. So, let's check goals. So yeah, I should give Happy and, and Anna a feather. Oh, a whole bunch. A whole bunch of them. I should give, like, a feather or something, too, for, like, that half a motivation. Is probably what I should do. So, Ignatz, Marianne, Al... Let's see here. Wait. Yeah. I got confused when I saw Mercedes on the map. I was like, did I just say that? No, I said freaking Marianne. Jeez, I still have my Blue Lions playthrough stuck in my head, apparently. How many feathers do I have, anyway? You want one? Oh yeah, this month is the uh, thing where I can make Yuri a dancer. That's what this month is. Hold on. So, where's an owl feather, though? 
There's one. I have four, so that's like the perfect amount in that case. So let's see here. And then Ignat. Might be in that room, I because I can't hover over it to see who's in there. My cameras are partially blocking it anyway. I guess you can still see the portraits. Um, but the library should be this way. Jeez, I'm getting way too lost. My goodness. So this was the way that had a unit that I couldn't hover over to see who it was. Oh, oh it's just Cyril. Oh, I guess it does show Cyril. Pfft. Um, Ignatz is here, apparently, so let's go have a nice little chat with him. Talk about his report card and such. His failing grades. When it loads, there we go. Hi so, hi there. Let's see here. Let's uh, see. Ignatz is right here. I want to give you a freaking feather. There you go. <laughs> okay, who else needed, like... The half of motivation. Um, I'll. Hmm, I'm not gonna train up Shamir or Cyril. There's just Anna and Happy. Wait, do I have to go to Abyss for that, or is Happy out and about? I think all four of them are out and about, right? I'll go this way first. Yeah, because then I can just use up the rest of my activity points for like, uh, freaking faculty training, or whatever the heck. Kinda like, well, like this, I guess. Like that, I suppose. Um, let's see here. Let's give you an owl feather. Um, and then Happy is... Right here, apparently. Right over by the fishing pond. Somewhere. Right here. Hi. I have a feather to give you, and now I think I'll have no more feathers. This is probably the case. Bam. Yeah, that, that is pretty great, isn't it? Um, now I'll just get, like, faculty training for all sorts of nerds. How about... Yeah, sure. All sorts of nerds can give me some training. Oop. I'm never giving people their lost items, am I? <laughs> I'm just like stockpiling them forever. Like, if you lost it, it stays with me. Cause I don't want to go to the effort of giving people their lost items since I'm not going for all, all recruits anyway, like I, like I was last time. Because I can't really be bothered anymore. Um, Gilbert could train me in some things, maybe. Wait, where's Gilbert? There he is. Um, there's collect several valuable secrets. Pick a student to enter the dance contest. Did I, didn't I already do Didn't I already do that? Didn't I? Like, I'll get that up, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I could briefly become a Arbor Knight. Hold on. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Yuri was over here. I'm fairly certain I already picked him, didn't I? I guess if you explore again. Okay, yeah, he... He is set for that. Um, I should be able to get a whole bunch of faculty training from nerds over here, most likely. So, you want to give me some training, maybe? Um, yeah, maybe I should build up this for now. We can get Reason Magic up to C+. I have two more points. Two more! I have from I have all these all. And then... Yeah, I don't know. I'll get swords to A a little bit sooner. Is what I suppose I'll do. Well. Hmm. Well. Who else wants to train me? Who's in here? Have them and you want to give me some training and things? Maybe? Maybe more reason magic? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna struggle to get this up, otherwise, screw it. I'll get this to D, plus, I suppose. Now, there's a lost item here, maybe? Yeah, that I'm never gonna return, I suppose. So I'll go here, we've got a whole bunch of support conversations to see, so we'll go through that. Methinks. Oh, I can do a support conversation with somebody, who? Who can I get free motivation with? Oh, freaking Hanneman. I mean, he'll just ask for me throughout the week if I don't do it now, I guess. I guess we'll just, um, wait. Wait, are these all ones? That, okay, I can do ones right now. Oh, oh yeah, these are the ones for these few. So yeah, I would very much like to build these up, like, as much as I can, so that we can see, like, all of Claude's Claude support conversations, since this is the only route where you can really see them. 
far as I'm aware. Hey there, Petra. Claude? Where are you? Where else? Wait, I'll meet you down there. Claude! I thought you were not able to climb the trees. True, and that is exactly why I worked like a madman to devise a new climbing technique. I have much admiration for that. To climb is a skill with value. Uh, what can I say? I just... Okay, so I may have cheated a little. By using my bow to shoot a rope over a branch, or a few branches, or all of the branches. But once I got up there and hauled up the ropes, it was the same result as if I'd climbed it your way. I am understanding. That costs more time, though, so it is not the best thing for hunting. But you are not harming the tree, so that is... an advantage. I am liking this technique. You're right. I didn't harm the tree at all. I'm surprised that impressed you. The tree has a spirit. If you hurt the tree, you will give its spirit anger. I see. I take it the people of Bridget have a close relationship with nature, then? Trees give us food and also shelter. We are needing them, and they are needing us. True. The people of Fodland believe everything is a blessing from the goddess. They've forgotten to be grateful to nature, too. Nature gives us life, sustains us. Without it, we couldn't breathe, couldn't live. It's everything. It's fine to pray to the goddess, but we have to respect nature, too. Don't you think? Yes. I do not know this goddess, but I know nature. That is the knowing I prefer to have. You and me both. Well, the audio jumped for a hot second there towards the end. I, I don't know if that was just OBS being weirder. What the heck that was. So we have one more worth a net, so I guess I'll still have to build up affinity between them all a little bit. Like, I mean, now that we have them recruited, I mean, it depends on how much is, like, required to be pre-time skip. Because I remember, in my previous playthrough, there were some characters that I just couldn't support with, because I didn't see required support conversations before the time skip. So it's probably best to build up support with these three as much as I can, as soon as I can. Hi, Annette. Looks like some tasty food you've got there. Mind if I join you? Sure, but I'm finished eating. You're here late. Busy day? Very. I got caught up thinking about your song. I find it really makes the time fly. Huh, so you didn't manage to forget about that. I really wish you would. Alas, I cannot. That song is engraved on my soul. The lyrics, they echo in my brain, begging to be understood. Those words represent the cry of a poor soul who died in anguish. Is that it? That's it, isn't it? The cry of a poor soul? A land that's dark and frigidly cold. That could only mean the underworld. In my search for truth, I read up on the old rituals of the eastern regions of Fargus. Those who die with regret are thought to end up in an underworld of sorts. Somewhere cold, somewhere dark, somewhere creepy. To escape from their bitter limbo, they dig their way up through the earth, trying to find the surface, or the light, in other words. And so they creep about endlessly in the cold dirt of the underworld, clinging to their hopeless desire. Creepity creep, Annette. Creepity creep. Uh... So, was I right, or was I right? What? No, you're not even close. It wasn't supposed to be a dark and miserable song at all. Huh. Now that I think about it, the melody and dance didn't really match the weight of the lyrics. The lyrics are simply about seeds pushing out of the ground to become sweet little buds. They creep through the dirt until they find the light. The song just describes what it's like to be a budding flower. Damn. That is good stuff. Okay, maybe I read too much into it. Actually, now that you've explained, it really is a nice little song. Creepity Creep. The gentle journey from the ground to the surface. I love it. Do you think it's embarrassing that I made up such a silly song? Not at all. No, oh, but that reminds me. I was so inspired by Creepity Creep that I made up some lyrics of my own. I've been nonchalantly carrying them around with me, hoping to run into you. Would you mind taking a look? Oh, of course. Let's see here. Walk 
Working with purpose and a steady stride Lively and bright and full of pride Crying, laughing and blazing ahead Why worry about tomorrow? Let's eat instead So, uh, what would you say this song is about, Claude? Oh, Annette, sweet Annette This time it's your turn to decipher its meaning Let me know when you've figured it out Oh, Claude with, <laughs> with his supports, huh? My, oh my. Let's see here. So we've got Raphael and Lysithia for support. So heavy. Uh, I think I might have borrowed one too many books this time. And I have to return them at some point. Ah! What's going on? Everything okay? Uh, just my luck. Lysithia? Oh, wow. Look at the mess you made. Thank you for the assistance. I can take it from here. Were you planning on carrying this much weight on your own? Don't be ridiculous. You should have at least asked for help. They're all books I need for my studies, and it's my own responsibility. No need to involve others. I'm happy to help you carry some of them. How about half? That's fair, right? No, really, I have this. I am not incapable, and I'm not a child. <laughs> as smart as you are, you sure are a silly person. I'm so tough. I'm gonna stand my ground. I don't need help from anyone. And when things don't go my way, I'm gonna act all sad and moody. You are remarkably talented at channeling. Huh? Oh, no. Sorry. I was imitating my little sister. Her name's Maya. She's way smart, but she can be pretty stubborn. You remind me of her. W what I mean to say is that I want to help. So swallow your pride and ask. <sighs> I'll be carrying the stack of books now. Got a problem with that? Yeah, yeah. You seem obstinately determined to go against my wishes. All right. Is this a good spot to drop them? Hey, what are you doing? They need to be stacked neatly, otherwise they'll topple. This one needs to be rearranged, otherwise the rest won't fit properly. Wow, talk about picky. You're the one who was so insistent on helping. If you're gonna help, do it right or don't bother. Fine, fine. I like that imitation that Raphael did during that support conversation, honestly. That was pretty good. Hey, Marianne? Are you there? Yes. Can I help you? Do you have a minute? Huh? Oh, um, I... Then, if you don't mind, would you come with me for a moment? So, um, did you need something from me? Yes, indeed. I have an urgent request. Have I done something? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. Really, you don't have to worry. Um... Would you close your eyes, please? Then how will I know where I'm going? Just take my hand. That's it. There, right there. Perfect. Now open your eyes. The town is glowing from the sunset. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? Very much so. I was looking at it earlier and I thought to myself, I have to show Marianne. But why me? Because you're always looking at your shoes. You never get a chance to appreciate the scenery. Oh, I... See, the best thing about the scenery is... It's always changing, with the weather, the time of day, the season. So every view is unique, never to be repeated. If no one sees it, it's lost. You could have just enjoyed it on your own. I wanted to share this beautiful landscape with you. Thank you. I... I'm not sure what to say. Hey, that's okay. I won't try to express this beauty in words either. Just look and remember. 
This will make for a nice memory. And maybe remember that I was here too. I... I will. I really will. I'm surprised that there was actually an art for that support conversation. That's way more than like most support conversations get. And like Scythia seems to have one with... Oh yeah, she gets support with Balthus. I forgot. Balthus, do you have a moment? Well, well. It's the little lady of House Ordelia. What can I do for you? You piqued my interest when you spoke about my parents coming to your rescue. Oh, right. Forgot I let that slip. After I fled my home, I became something of a vagrant. Getting into fights. Borrowing money I couldn't pay back. The works. Oh, I know all about it. You were quite the vagabond. Wherever I went, I was treated like trash. Securing enough food to live on got harder and harder. It became clear that I wasn't welcome in Alliance territory. So, I decided to head over to the Empire. My big mistake was stopping by the Great Bridge of Murden on the way. Just my luck, some jerk of a minor lord north of the bridge was on a hunt for the bounty on my head. Oh, that's awful. Would have been fine if I'd been alone, but innocent folks were around. Didn't want to endanger them. That's when I turned tail. I ran until I couldn't run another step, and found myself in Ordelia territory. I knew Count Ordelia from when I was still with my family's house, so it seemed like a decent option. I was hoping our history would be enough to secure a place of sanctuary, but no such luck. They refused to take you in? Yeah. I could tell there was some reason behind it. But they told me to get out as fast as I could. Ah, uh, I imagine it was when the Empire was meddling with my family. We lived in shackles back then. Makes sense. Still, I'm grateful. They gave me food and distracted the Empire's cronies so I could escape. I was half dead from starvation, so that meal saved my life. No joke. Your family's the real deal. Just imagine what the Empire would have done to me. I can tell you it wouldn't have been pretty. I have no doubts. We weren't allowed contact with anyone from the outside. It was strictly forbidden. I see. Well, that's when I vowed to find a way to repay them. One day I'll do just that. And when do you intend to carry out this vow of yours? In due honesty, I don't see you as someone capable of carrying out vows right now, or even keeping your things together. <laughs> Can't argue with that. It'll take me a while to repay that debt, but I will. Just you wait and see. Hmm. Again, I forgot that they could support with one another. Yeah, I guess that's all the support conversations now, unless I want to freaking do this. Professor. Professor. Fine. Ah, Professor. Always a pleasure to see you. I wonder, might you have a moment to chat? What do you want? Uh, come now. You have no need to be on guard. I'd never cause you harm. You're far too valuable a specimen, uh, well, that is to say, too valuable a member of the Academy staff. Indeed, the further my crest research progresses, the closer you come to learning the truth of your heritage. Is it not so? When I learned you bore the lost crest, the very crest of flames itself, I set about learning everything I could about your past. What was the origin of your bloodline? How have the events of your life been shaped by your lineage? I became somewhat obsessed, I must admit. My past is my business. I promised you no harm, remember? I merely reached out to mercenaries whom you've worked with to understand your life before the Academy. Of course, I also contacted Gerald and his mercenary friends. Your father does keep rather interesting company. I'm excited to share with you what I learned, but I do ask that you correct me if I am mistaken on any account. The story begins with Gerald serving as captain of the Knights of Seros. There was a woman at the monastery with whom Gerald was quite close, 
At first, it seemed obvious this mystery woman was your mother. Alas, that cannot be the case. The timing is all wrong. As it was told to me, the woman in question passed away shortly before Gerald left the monastery. Yet your birth occurred sometime later, while Gerald was taking work as a mercenary. This, of course, presumes your age is accurately reported. If you were born sooner, well, the story would be quite different, would it not? My father was always one for secrets. Oh, I am aware. You two were certainly enigmatic, as far as mercenaries go. For example, Gerald never once spoke of his time serving as Captain of the Knights. That's quite a secret to keep for all those years. In the end, your old acquaintances had little definitive to say about either of you. However, they all agreed on one thing. Your father and yourself were a strong pair. Warriors to be respected and feared. You in particular. In fact, many came to know you as the Ashen Demon. They say you would destroy your enemies without a hint of emotion on your face. The mercenaries I spoke to revered you as a living legend of sorts. So, that is what I learned. And, I admit, it is barely more than I knew before. The next step in my research is to ask your blood for answers, and hope that it is more forthcoming than your past acquaintances. We've seen the first cutscenes for mo many of the staff and faculty here before. I don't think we've ever seen any of them through to the end because I never wind up using them in my army. I always wind up just leaving them in the back. And also, I think at some point, maybe it would be a good idea to recruit Hanuman and Wella so that we unlock their paralogue. Because doesn't that one give like an experience gem, if I remember? I forget. Let's end exploration. Let's hop into the lesson always instructed manually. All right, let's see here. My, oh my, and all right, everyone on stream here, you want to know what is your biggest pet peeves? Where did this come from? How what? And hello, hello, Cam. Hey, everybody, a fancy me to you here. Yeah, fancy me to you here for some late night chill. And here we are. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed that we'd be here doing some late night chilling? Um, I don't know. I could trample a Renz. I could train him up in axes more. I could try to get this to A first and foremost, though. Eh, sure. Whatever. I mean, barely goes anywhere, but like, eh. Okay, that actually went further than I thought it would. Um, let's see here. I could always give Ignat some more m -m -m magic. We could try to get this closer to A, maybe. Is what we could do. <laughs> Dang, it sucks. Uh, we could try to get Lysithia's freaking faith magic to A. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. Wait, who else can use it down here? Maybe I should trade my Ashen Wolves character. Um, but yeah, what bugs you and, or not Adam, what bugs you Cam is people who are super dense, but who don't like get certain things or something like that, booby bop, or just like emotionally, do you mean? Um, should I train up magic? Gotcha, gotcha. Boobity bop. Wow, that sucked. Um... They just don't understand what you're trying to say, kind of like me a second ago. <laughs> when I was asking what kind, what do you mean by that? Probably not like that, but you know. Don't read the mood. Yeah, I... I completely understand that. Like, I've definitely had a fair share of that over the... Over the past couple of years of streaming. Like, when... When somebody's going down a certain train of thought in... In my chat, for example, I'm trying to give hints of like, No, 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 let's not do that here. But... But, uh, <laughs> I guess some people don't take a hint, <laughs> so I understand what you mean by that, Cam. Um, should I get this up closer to A, maybe? We got to be more magical. Thanks for Magics. I learn with my heart, not my head. How about more magics? Thanks for taking the time. 
Um, and then, sure, Constance. Okay, that's already at A. Perfect. We can level up Faith Magic 2. I, I don't know why she has a budding talent in brawling when her cannon class can't even brawl. Well, if you have her as, like, a magic class at all, unless you have her as freaking, like, War Priestess, then she can't even brawl anyway. So it's so silly. Oh, yeah! My freaking struggling unit <laughs> over here. Oh, my. My really struggling unit. Yeah, and what bugs you is when in America, your local supermarket people reach into bags of grapes or cherries and take puts, take puts, hold on, I assume that's a typo, their hands in it and then eat it while walking away. You hate that? People do that? Like, just like the bags that are meant to be sold, they just take like a bunch just to munch on? What? Let's just begin the lecture. Professor. I know I don't stand out much, but I've been thinking about how to turn that weakness into a strength. It's good to move about at the battlefield unnoticed. I'll need to brush up on my sword and bow skills, though. Uh, no, sorry. You're gonna be magical, Ignatz. How about... That is a thing? Yeah, wool. We'll... I've never seen people do that before. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, oh! my sincerest apologies We're gonna have Yuri the, the Dancer. Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated ball to bear witness to... The Academy-Wide Dance Competition! Welcome to the White Heron Cup! The competition will be judged by... Me, your humble servant, Alois Rangel. And also, the acclaimed former songstress of the Mittelfrank Opera Company, Manuela Casagranda! Yes, yes, thank you! Oh! And it should go without saying, but I swear to show no bias to my own house. Got it? Good. Last but not least, the glamorous assassin who does all of her dancing in the dead of night, Shamir Navran! Hmm. The three of us swear on our honor to judge the following proceedings with utmost impartiality and fairness. And with that, will the representatives of each house please make their way to the stage? Contestants, are you ready to dance? And is the band prepared to play? Very well, begin! That's all, folks! Splendid! All three of you were fantastic! <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh my, let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for... The Golden Deer House. Your performance was exhilarating. My heart is still beating a mile a minute. I vote for the Blue Lion House. You are the most original. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion, yes, we have a winner. And I will announce who it is right now, without any delay, the winner of this year's White Heron Cup is... The Golden Deer House! Not surprised. Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants. Look at that, Yuri the Dancer. By winning the White Heron Cup, Yuri obtained the certification for the Dancer class. Learn the sword, com sword Dance Combat Art and the Sword Avoid plus 20 ability. My oh my. So I hear that apparently Yuri is able to use Kanto with his, with his Hero's Relic after dancing. Which, if that's true, who I can't wait to see. Wait, oh wait, Dimitri has a... Freaking birthday. Hold on. I should still have my tea menu open. Oh yeah, here it is. Dimitri. 
I mean, it doesn't really matter if I give you what you like. Whatever. Apparently, he only likes chamomile, and that's it. I apologize for the wait. Mm, this smells good. <laughs> this smells taste. good. Hmm. Thank you. Drink up. Drink up, Dimitri. It's all for you. How warm and comforting. Warm, comforting, just like you're not in the second half. Uh, so let's see here. You seem well. He likes huh? that, apparently. Um, <laughs> monastery rules. He doesn't like that. Um, a new gambit. He likes that one. Okay. Um. So it is. Um, school uniforms. He doesn't like that. A word of advice. Sure, he okay. likes that. And people who launch fireworks every night for the past two months. People do that? Isn't that like... At least here, you're not allowed to fire. You're not allowed to shoot fireworks off in the city. Like, there's specific regulations on it. I apologize for troubling you. I'm grateful for your support. Um, wait. Apparently, nod and blush are the correct Sorry. options. To save here, but people do that anyway? Uh, what do you have to say? Please don't care with everything else going on? Jeez. I am not good with facial expressions. Is my smile passable at present? Uh, ask me in five years' time. But yeah, so it could be mistaken for gunfire. As Anne was saying, at least. Come on, tell me what your other dialogue is. Okay, fine. Don't tell me, I guess. Thank you for the treat. I had a wonderful time. I would love to do this again, if that is acceptable to you. My oh my. Yeah, I can't wait to try out Yuri the dancer. We have succeeded handily. Nice. Perfect. All right. My efforts have borne fruit. Yes, they have, Lawrence. I think I get it now. Huh, I'm actually pretty oh, good at this. She gets diamond axe. Cool. One step before the next step. I'm looking sharp, huh? Ooh, nice. Nice.